Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our practice real estate exam questions. If you're new here, we post a new question every Monday through Friday. It's as simple as that. If you do have any questions you want me to cover, please comment the full questions down below or send us an email with a question. This series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So today's question has to deal with purchase agreements. So let's see what we're working with. The question states, purchase agreements come big and small and are a crucial aspect of real estate contract law. Well, ain't that the truth? Which of the following would be an example of a purchase agreement? All right, so it gives us four options. A, going through airport security. B, signing a non-disclosure agreement. C, transferring funds to one agent from another to cover mileage. Or D, ordering something online and checking a box that says terms and conditions. Oh, okay, interesting. So as always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here. Uh, and think it over and come up with your answer. So go ahead and do that right now. All right. So did you guys come up with the answer? Hopefully. I think this one's going to trick a few of you guys. So the correct answer for this one is D. Yes, D, ordering something online and checking a box that says terms and conditions. Here's the deal. Purchase agreement is a contract that legally binds two or more parties together to a specific obligation. That creates a legally binding contract between the buyer and the seller. Now, why is this important? Well, purchase agreements are the foundation of real estate transactions. So you might be thinking, well, what is ordering something online? Like, what is, how is that a purchase agreement? Well, that's a great example of a purchase agreement because in a smaller fashion, it's almost the same thing of a real estate purchase agreement or a property purchase agreement, only, again, at a smaller scale. Think about it like this. When you're ordering something online, maybe from Amazon or eBay, and you click that box, have you ever clicked that box and like read all the information? Well, that is in itself the covering like all everything that has to deal with with the terms and conditions. Um, so imagine that as a real estate contract, it's almost like the same thing. Obviously, you know, when we're talking about something online, it's to a much smaller scale. Now you might be wondering too, it's like, well, what about, you know, going through airport security, signing a non-disclosure agreement? Well, first of all, going through airport security, um, that would be having to do something with maybe, uh, terms and conditions in an airport, but again, that's not a purchase agreement. Signing a non-disclosure agreement, that's not a purchase agreement either. Uh, that's a different legal legal entity, legal term, legal contract. Now C, which I feel like is, is, is the one that I think a lot of people choose because they see, oh, a, this one has to do with agents. You know, it must be, must be this because we're practicing with a real estate exam. Well, transferring funds to one agent from another to cover mileage, it's not a purchase agreement. In fact, that's not really an agreement in itself unless, you know, maybe the brokerage has some sort of deal where uh, maybe an agent, if they drive a certain amount of mileage, they can get reimbursed. But again, that's not a purchase agreement. Um, and you guys do have to see that difference. And I hope you guys do. Uh, if not, feel free to answer or ask a comment or question down below, and I could explain uh, a little bit better if I, if I haven't already. But yeah, again, that's the difference here. When you see purchase agreement, when we're talking about contract law, it is a legally binding document between a buyer and a seller. So ask yourself, go through each and every one of these. Is there a buyer and is there a seller? And guess what? The only option here where there is a buyer and a seller is D, ordering something online and checking a box of terms and conditions. If you're ordering something online, you are the buyer, Amazon's the seller, etc. So again, it's super important. I know this is one of those weird questions that I do see people get stuck on um, because I think the concept of purchase agreements and applying them to real estate, sometimes, sometimes people don't think so literally about this, but really it's one and the same. Again, you could, uh, another example of a purchase agreement is um, maybe if you order something, maybe you go to a store and you order some sort of like layaway. 
uh, and maybe you, you, you fill out some paperwork. Um, that, another example of a purchase agreement, because, you know, there's a buyer and seller involved. I can't, can't stress that enough. So if a question like this shows up in the exam, go through every explanation and ask yourself, is there a buyer and is there a seller? And if there's both, chances are it's going to be a purchase agreement. But yeah, sorry I went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but I think it's super important for you guys to understand this concept um, because purchase agreements, contracts law, that is something that comes up on the exam all the time. So it's a super important foundation to kind of build up and and uh, nail into your guys' heads so that you guys are prepared for when you see it come exam day. But yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it for me today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Please hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel or if you just, you know, have watched my videos before and you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we, we put up some good stuff. Like I said, new videos Monday through Friday. You can't beat that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from RealEstateLicenseWizard.com. Make today magical.